<clears throat> I don't know why I'm <clears throat> sorry y'all. Hold on. I don't know why I'm thinking of the movie Let's Go to Prison. But we're not going to prison literally, but it's like an it's an adventure of some sort. Guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm eccentric rockstar seed, and I have another message for you. Keep in mind, take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. There's something new. So you got the magician, you showcasing your talent, the big reveal. Okay, it's like the the prestige. It feels like the prestige. You know, you've been working at this for a very long time. You know, now you're about to establish yourself in the community. You're about to create a community or make a name for yourself in the community. You have the nine of, of wands here twice, which is really emphasizing fight. Like you're a strong fighter with the seven of wands here. You just blocked out all the noise. And then you got a sacred union. It's like you're learning how to connect. Clarify. Get clear, get clear on what activities and online platforms bring your best clients, customers, focus your attention there and ignore distractions. Ignore the distractions. I got it. So listen here. Okay. You're being bold. You're making the first it. move. And you have the mindset of a person who's you're ready to take leadership. The sacred union. You're about to connect with it's something you're passionate about that's going to turn into something bigger. Beloved, beloved within inner and outer relationships. This is get this is getting the mental clarity on what you're doing that's propelling that's getting the attention of the people whichever platform you have all together creativity with the empress you're going to this side of customers is going to look at you they're going to you're going to be high in demand okay then i got the fool it's time to move take leadership command this is an extra tarot deck, an uh, extra card in the deck. What we see in the symbol, in the symbol, symbology of tarot derives in large measures from our own intuition and once revealed reflects back upon us for us to further enrich our life. Okay. This is something you are, you ready to make some money off of. It's going to turn into a hustle for you. Something you love with the queen of cups. You ready, it's something you nurture. Because it's authentically you. It's more true to yourself with the lovers. And you're very virtuous about it. I can't say I'm mad at that. The Fool and the King of Swords. So you took a... You realized where you were stagnant. You made a decision. You did the dual diligence. You made the executive decision. To boogie on out of there. Okay? And establish yourself where it's more befitting... And compatible with what you do and who you are and then you got the tower on the bottom again that's a big reveal you know it's a it could be distressed in some instances but this is like the big it's gonna blow some people's minds that's why you're probably in fight mode okay you got that sword up okay nope mental clarity sharp-minded very knowledgeable very an expert in what you do if you're any of the kings Okay, very talented, extraordinarily talented. You have a business savvy along with your talent and a work ethic, strong work ethic with the eight of pentacles here. So this is further clarifying something that you're very passionate about. You're very empathic. Okay, you got some abilities, spiritual abilities, the lovers. It could be anything though, anything that you love. And the three of wands. You see them ships coming in now or you see yourself somewhere else so your ships can come in you see yourself establishing yourself somewhere else so that your ships can come in but you took a you took a chance and embarked on a new journey okay like you had the world card and a couple readings back you've been having the world card more than once now you got the nine of wands here and it's coming to a a, a completion nine of wands why is the nine of wands here twice the king of pentacles is in reverse okay this is like nine of wands again i got the nine of wands in three different decks now on this on this table okay three three different times the nine of wands is here you never gave up close the door one thing about it you never gave up okay King of Pentacles in reverse. Could be overly materialistic, but it's a lack of success. You felt 
impoverish. I don't want to say impoverish because that's a low vibration, you know, but you wasn't taking the crooked route. You wasn't taking the easy way out. You were a person of integrity with the King of Swords. You established yourself as the King of Swords. The King of Pentacles is somebody who's crooked about how they make their money. And you didn't play people out their money to get rich quick. That's for somebody. But that heavy emphasis is on that, that mean left hook. You got a left hook that can't quit. Okay? You got the five of cups. I split the deck four of cups and five of cups. I did not wish fulfillment. I don't know why that's there. King of cups very wise upstanding person i don't know if that's two people yet but you got three kings on the board but i feel like it's the energy that you're carrying okay because now you got the king and the queen of cups and you turn yourself you went from the queen of cups you went from doing something you love and you nurtured it with the empress card here you created something and now you're king of the king of swords you become the expert at it you become the go-to person for it it's been a transition Okay, a transformation. What's the end of destruction? I'm tired of making money the the hard way. Yeah. Start hustling your way out of out of that into something better. Okay, this is a stability card, a lackluster, or just holding on. You stop it's possessive. It's a a, sen a sense of possessive possession. Holding on to, to money because maybe it was a little scarce or very far in between when it would be really generous to have a lot of money. But you passed that tax bracket now. It's like you figured out another recipe. You created a new recipe. I don't know why you'd be in your head about it. Eight of Swords. This might have felt like a crisis for you. That's why you, you the Eight of Swords is here. Could have felt like that. But you called upon a higher power. Istakar. It's called a Istakar prayer. It eliminates confusion. And sword number 2824 turns the two of swords into a king of swords real fast. Okay? And the king of cups. This is like two different energies. This is your intelligence and your emotional intelligence. You becoming a threat. That's why you stood your ground like that. Like he's ready. It's somebody who is not going to be manipulated into something they don't want to do. That's why that nine of sword, that nine of wands is here three times. But uh, you on your way. You took, you stepped out. I don't think you're coming back. I don't think they know you're not coming back. I don't think they realize that. Okay, your pursuit of power. Okay, this is your position, own it. Okay, like you're getting a lot of downloads. Very intuitive person. You sharpening your talents or some kind of awakening came out of you praying or something. Something upgraded for you, massively upgraded for you. And it put you, it allowed you to go establish yourself elsewhere. Now you're showing up as these two people. These two energies, correction. And there's better balance. A lot of fire energy. What's next to come with the star seeds? A lot of sweetness. I see that. The it, there you go. Child of Cosmos, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. I put that together. And it puts you somewhere else. Now you see that? That's why I put these two cards together. <coughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.